You say I love you, boy. London.com. Um, this is uh, Many of Horror by Biffy Claro, or Brackets When We Collide. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the brackets are all about. Um, and I learnt it for a student, uh, so thank you very much, Stuart, for introducing this to me. Um, and I've, I've really liked playing the guitar line, I just, and I just thought it'd be really nice to share it with you guys, because I found that once you start playing it, it's really addictive and you're going to want to keep playing it and it's very good for finger picking and then you've got a little bit of power chords and then on top of all that if, you, if you're so that, that way inclined you can start singing it because the singing is pretty cool and it's got, um, it's got nice changes in it, great lyrics and it's just a really good song so good for Biffy um, okay so I'm going to show you how to do it it's all finger picked um, and we're just going to learn that, that sort of hypnotic line at the beginning there so, okay, so you're using throughout this whole song your middle finger, so that's your, um, your middle and your ring finger throughout most of it until we get to the power chords, okay? You're going to put your um, uh, middle finger on the seventh fret on the E string and you're going to put your ring finger also on the seventh fret but skipping the A and the D and going down to the G, so it looks like that. And before I go any further, actually, if you're trying to play along to the record, this lesson isn't going to work, okay? This lesson is designed for someone who doesn't want to down-tune their guitar um, and then take the top string down to C-sharp, etc. This is, I think it sounds just as good in standard tuning, regardless, in any case. Um, so if you're a hardcore Biffy fan and you want to go and play along to the record, then click on another uh, click on another video. This is if you want to be able to sing it and just play the line without bothering with detuning. Cool, that's the disclaimer done. Right, so we're on here on the seventh fret. We're gonna pinch with your thumb and your index finger, okay, on those two strings that we're holding down. And a pinch is pulling two strings at the same time, so you pull them towards each other, okay? So that's our first one, seven and seven. By the way, we're not going to be moving off these strings anymore, okay? So that's always on the E string and the G string. We're then going to move that up two frets to nine. Instead, if you've got an acoustic guitar or, or some guitars, they'll actually have markers showing you where the seventh and ninth fret is. So you can just follow the white markers. And then we're going to move up to ten, but this one's a little bit different. We're just going to move this finger out, so we're on 10 and 11, so it's not underneath anymore, it's there. So we've got... Now, don't worry about these noises. They're perfectly natural, and it's not the end of the world, okay? They're, they're, it's just part and parcel of playing guitar. Okay? So I'll show you that little finger picking part once we get there to 10 and 11 now. So it's thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. So it's never playing anything different than the strings you're holding down. Uh, you're just going, um, I'll do it one more time, pinch, 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 thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. And we're going to be doing that idea, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb, at the end of, of each uh, pass of chords. Next one, we come down to the second fret. Once again, our 
fingers were both on the second fret, so it's twos for each. Good. We then go up to the third fret, but this shape's coming back, so we're going to bring this fingers. So we're on three and four. So it's. We're then going to move that shape up to five and six, so we're going to go two, three and four, five and six. So it's not back here, it's here. So the next bit is. Hopefully you're getting a hang of that thumb, index thumb, thumb, index thumb. Next part, up to 12. 12 and 12, okay? Back to 10 and 11, which was actually the third chord we played. So here, here, 12, 10 and 11, 7, where we started. So 12, 10, 11, 7. up to 12, 10 and 11 again, 5 and 6, so that's, and that is your verse progression and order of chords, we would just repeat it round in a circle again, okay, so let's try that, so. It. Okay, so that final bit, my mistake. I'm still learning it. You won't believe how long it took me to do the, uh, the, the song at the beginning. Okay, right. So that is um, your verse. So once you get to here, we repeat round in a circle. I didn't do that at the beginning of the video just to save a bit of time. I went straight into the bridge that I still believe. But you, you do go round in a circle. So we're now going to have a look at that I still believe part. So the last where we left off was... So... So the next change has got four pinches in a row rather than three. Seven, nine, ten, and eleven, just like the beginning of the song, actually. But then we're quickly coming back to three and four. I still believe. Okay, I'll do that again. I still believe. I've got to sing in the wrong place, but. Then the next one, the last one in this bridge, is two. So two twos sevens and then back down to this three and four again okay so let's just do just the bridge so it's that was a bit fast I'll do that a little bit slower so part um, we're going to start playing some power chords so we're going to build it up with the power chord so that's hitting it as down strums um, eight times and the power chord is an A so you take your index finger put it on the first fret on the E string take your ring finger put it on the seventh fret on the A string and then take your pinky and put it underneath on the seventh fret also on the D string that's making our power chord with the octave so that's one and two and three and four and so that's just building up there. All right. So if I do it from the link in, so it's then we're into our chorus. Okay. So we change from the A power chord 
to the D power chords. This is just so you can sing it along. You could be playing an open D chord, but I think it sounds better with power chords just to give it that kind of beefy sing-along um, sort of call to arms chorus. So to do the change to the D, you just move the whole shape down. So A string, fifth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret on the D and the G. And the rhythm here, I'm going one and two and three and four and. So that's called accenting. I'm making louder hits but they're all just down hits. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's how long you hold down the D for. So you could think of it as 16 hits in total. Together. Then we're gonna slide this whole shape. This is a power chord shape. It's extremely versatile once you've got the hang of them. And you're gonna slide down to the second fret. This time just for eight hits, okay? Not 16 like the D. Um, so that's what the B power chord looks like. Second, fourth, and fourth, and second. And then finally, the last power chord you're gonna need for the chorus. We're gonna move up to the third fret. So this is the power chord shape, and then we're gonna move it back to the thickest strings like we did with the A. So that's third fret, fifth fret, and fifth fret. Eight hits for that as well okay so I'm going to do it from the um, the build up into the chorus so the A power chord and then strum it all the way through notice I'm getting louder there by the way so that's called crescendo we're creating suspense here comes the chorus let's make it nice and loud going back into uh, the part that we had at the beginning. Okay, so that's more or less um, the whole song. I don't have the middle eight here today. Um, and I've just found it so addictive playing it. And once again, um, it's if to play it just like the record, then you need to down tune. But I think if you want to sing it, and if you just want to play a really cool little guitar line that you're just going to want to keep repeating, um, then don't bother, you know, just leave it in that, in that tuning and play through. Okay. Um, if you like this lesson and you like the style I've gone for, the fact that I've kind of explained everything, admittedly, a couple of little errors there earlier, but yeah, I've explained everything, shown you exactly how to play it, then click the link below in the video description. That will take you through to um, sign up page so you can go to my student area, which is completely free. There's loads of um, videos you don't get on YouTube. There's loads of tablature. There's advice. Basically, it's becoming a massive resource for beginner guitarists and intermediate players as well. Um, sort of my most recent intermediate lesson was about how to do bar chords, if that's your thing. So um, how to get them sounding clear without any muting, which is the hardest thing when you're starting out. So you just go along there and it's just an email address. That's all it takes to get through. And there's tons of resources there. Okay, I think I've plugged it enough. Thank you very much for watching and keep on playing. See you again soon. Bye.